Brockethurst Railway Station was opened by the Southampton and Dorchester Railway in 1847. But we're not going to be casting and corkscrewed and we're not going to look at that area. Today though, we're going to be looking at a branch line which opened on the 12th of July 1858, the Limited Branch Line, and visit two stations along that line. So my name is Simon and the first thing I noticed about Brockenhurst Railway Station nearly at half eight in the morning, it's so quiet and peaceful. But anyway, we are waiting for the 0842 Southwestern Railway Service to take us to Limited Pier, but the first station along the line and the only intermediate station is Limited Town. So we're going to go there first before we head to Limited Pier. First class declassifies on this branch line. So even though there's two railway stations on this line, there actually was another two railway stations. Now the first one actually opened in 1860 called Shirley Holmes Holt. Now apparently it's one of the first halts that were built in the country. That closed in 1888 when Sway Station opened and then in 1959 Ampress Works Halt opened but that closed in 1979. Unfortunately I can't visit both those railway stations today, which is a shame really. So this is Limited Town Station, it's a Bay Quaid station indeed. It's just got the one platform, but when I mentioned that Brockenhurst Line was opened on the 12th of July 1858, it actually came to a temporary station until the permanent station opened in 1860, and this used to be the terminus of the line until they extended to Limited Pier. Limited Town Station is just beautiful to look at. It's just got the one platform and one train shuttling back and forth between Brockenhurst and Limited Pier, but it's just so beautiful to look at. Even if I turn this round here to here, even the four car boards are painted in green, as in the days of the Southern Railways. They're usually in blue, black, but I think this might be the only station that has a four car board and a two car board in green. Next station for ferries, because we're going to be heading towards Limited Pier now on the 0920 Southwestern Railway Service. Well, it goes to Limited Pier, and it's going to be 450 100 anyway, because that's the same unit that's going to be shuttling down between Brockenhurst and Limited Pier. So it should be arriving now. We board it, and it's only a two minute journey to the end of the line.
we're now at Limited Pier Station and it's just basically got basic facilities here. It's got three weighted shelters, it's got a hell point, a ticket machine, which is out of order. And over here it's got a car park with a lot of cars in it. And over in this direction, we've got a lot of boats over here as well. That's basically it. <laughs> So honestly, there's not really much to say about this railway station. It does have a very long platform, which I think it can fit a coach train on this platform, like two class 450 to zeros. History of this railway station opened on the 1st of May 1844 as an extension from Limited Town Station. And you can also change here for ferry services to Yarmouth on the Isle of Wight. Form H. So I'm now on board 450-100 again, we're now on the 0957 heading back towards Brockenhurst. So this is the part where you can just sit back and enjoy the ride. So the line between Brockenhurst and Limited, it's a lovely just over five mile branch line and it's got some beautiful scenery, a beautiful station at Limited Town and some beautiful views at Limited Pier because the station's not beautiful to be honest. But I wish I could have done that in 2010 with EMUs running that line of slam door stock, the class 421s when they had heritage traction running up and down that branch line. Wish I could have done it then but unfortunately I didn't. And if you want to watch another video right here, feel free to click that. I've been Simon Trace. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go over the other platform because I've got a train to catch to head back towards Southampton. <laughs>